Um, okay, it's, you know what, it's been it's lovely coming here and seeing so many friendly faces. There's a lot of you that I know from coming to the shows and I'm always incredibly thankful, so it's absolutely lovely to see you all. Um, and what a, what a fab place to come and play your music. It really is. Um, and thanks to Carl for inviting me. So if, uh, if you want to do it again next year, I'm here. Not a problem. I love it. Um, I get a lot of messages uh, when I'm going to do a gig for people asking for certain songs and this one is always requested and um, I'm very glad because it's my favourite song that I've ever written and uh, it and gives me a chance to mention this which is Does this train stop on Merseyside? The very best of Ian Prowse, Pele in Amsterdam from 1991 and to, uh, to the present day it's got, uh, it's my entire career when, when the show's finished, my mate Chris, who's on the desk, wave your hand, Chris. He, if you want to get it, I'll come out as five minutes after we've finished and sign it for you. If you want to get it off him, it's ten pounds. And uh, there's a duet on there with Elvis Costello. Uh, there's a duet there with Christy Moore. They're the ones that McNabb hates the most. <laughs> I did, um, I did, uh, I was part, you know, the Justice He Ain't Heavy thing that went to number one at Christmas, I'd, I, I was part of that, I went down to London and did a bit of singing on that. They eventually replaced my bits with fucking Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we had a part, there was, a, because it went to number one, they put the disc on the wall, Liverpool's 57th uh, number one. Um, in, uh, which is amazing for such a tiny city, and so we had a bit of a we had a bit of party last week, and everybody who was involved with the Justice single came down. There was a free bar down in the cavern. It all happened on Matthew Street, and it got to the so everybody. It, this is at four o'clock, so come six o'clock, everybody's leathered, and uh, and there's a band on, and people are getting up and playing, and uh, Nick out the Clash is there. So I think here we go. Well, we'll get over there and so talk to Mick. It's Clash being the only band that matters. I said, Mick, should we get up and should we get up and do a song? London calling. How do you fancy? Fucking right, prayers. Yeah, I'll fucking have a go at that. <laughs> Who's got a drum? So I'll see in the corner. There's Chris Shaddock, who used to has been in Oasis and, and some great bands. Robbie Williams, <laughs> but he's also his name was made it being in Ian's first band. Uh, so we got up. We did London calling, which was just cosmic. Um, and uh, McNabb wouldn't answer the phone to me all week because of this. <laughs> anyway, here's my favourite song that I've ever written, and I'll dedicate it especially to the people who come and watch me quite a bit. So uh, here we go. It's called Home.
Call it. 